She wasn't very good at deadlines. She was an absolute perfectionist. And even if it sounded fine to everybody else, she would still want to re-record it and re-record it till she thought it was right. And she always said she had reverse adrenaline. The nearer the deadline got, the slower she would get until there was this point almost when she would come to a standstill. When she was enthusiastic, she was enthusiastic. She would really go over the top. Um, just as when she was depressed, she would be really depressed and go really sink down, hardly speak to you for days. I disappeared under the sea. And I would surface again. Come up again. Then I would go down into the water and I had this sensation that I was going to drown. I like the idea of her um, staying at the radiophonic workshop made available till very late at night when everyone else had buggered off home so that she could use the, um, the corridors and the hallways to put her tape all the way round. So she was doing these massive tape loops that were like sonic maps. Mm -hmm. She left the studio one night and she was working on a song. And she was riding along on a bicycle and she thought, oh, yeah, I've got it. So she stopped the bicycle to write everything down and suddenly realised that she didn't know where she was. She had having crossed London, crossed the Thames, because she was so busy working on the song.